Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Hoffman and we are going to be making some cartoon collage people. So the things that you will need um, for creating these little collage cartoon people, first of all you're going to need some paper. Um, you can use any kind of paper, maybe you have a sketchbook or even like I have a tan sketchbook but maybe you want to try like making these on the inside of a cereal box or a grocery bag, um, whatever you have at home. Then uh, you will need scissors and glue and some scrap paper. This can be any kind of scrap paper. This can be um, pieces of junk mail that your parents don't want. This can be little paintings that you have and you are done with them and you want to cut them up. Um, old magazine papers, anything that you want for scrap paper. That's going to be the shoulders of our people. You also need a pen. If you want to do um, one on the tan paper, maybe you have a white pen or colored pencil that you could use. Um, so I've got both of the colors there. I'm going to be using watercolors. I feel like that's the best, but if you don't have watercolors, you can also just use your Crayola markers um, and uh, water and a paintbrush or a Q-tip for that part. Okay, so I'm going to start with my, um, with my sketch pad, and I'm going to start off with using the inside of one of these envelopes and it has a little pattern on the inside of here. I thought this would be a good shirt pattern that I could use. I'm just going to cut a little um, rainbow shape, a little arch. That's going to be some shoulders for my cartoon person. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this down here. All right, now you can use a glue stick or you can use liquid glue, either one works fine for this. Okay, there's my first person. Now maybe I want to, I like this dark blue of this curtain. Um, kind of stripey there. They look kind of like they're shrugging a little bit, I like that, okay. And maybe there's one of these little paintings that I had. My daughter and I made these paintings and I thought they were too pretty to throw away a long time ago. I figured I would use them for something. And now I am. Okay, there's that one. If your paper is thick, that might be a good time to switch to the liquid glue if you have any at home. But I think that will hold it, I hope. Then maybe I want to do, I've got this crazy paper, this sort of neon zebra thing going on here. And however many of these little shoulders that you want to do. Um, in my picture, my cartoon people are just sort of made up. I just imagine different faces and um, put them on here, but you know, uh, Mother's Day is coming up and possibly this could be sort of a cartoon collage family portrait of some kind or maybe um, you could make a gift for your uh, for your teacher for teacher appreciation week um, of your class with you and your classmates do like 20 of them a whole bunch of you know filling up the whole page that might be interesting or it can just be for fun okay so now once you have your little rainbow shoulders. Now we're going to draw the neck and the cheeks and chin. We're not going to do the hair. We're not going to draw the top of the head. We're not going to draw a circle because we want to be able to make um, the hair going off the forehead if we want like this or it could be covering the forehead like that. Now if I had drawn the top of the head here then you would see that through the hair and I think it looks better if you start out a different way. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna draw the neck, two lines. It could be skinny neck, long neck, short, how you want. And then um, a letter U for the cheeks and the chin. Or if you want more pointy chin, do a letter V like that. But um, either way, don't draw a circle or an oval. Draw a letter U or a letter V. Now, if you want to try a side view person like this, it's a little tricky. I'll show you how to do it. Still draw the neck, okay? 
Then you're going to draw, think about the um, parts of the face. So you're going to have a forehead, a nose, an upper lip. Now you want to decide, is the mouth open or closed? I think open for this one. And so the mouth is open like that. Then we draw the chin and to the neck. Now the ear, okay? And then an eye, just one eye, and the eyebrow if I want. I could draw the back of the head a little bit, but don't draw the top, just like this one. Okay, now the fun part, the, the eyes, nose, and mouth. I want some eyes. What kind of face do I want? Is it happy? I think this one's happy. This looks like a little kid now. The way I did that, I want to do ears, eyebrows, put cheeks on there if I want. Everything, that's all up to you. Maybe I want to do a, a girl. Maybe she has some lips. Maybe ears and earrings, big hoops. That's fun. Okay. Um, she has some eyebrows too. Maybe this person is more worried. And they have their eyebrows are kind of going upwards like that. And they're like, wait a minute, something, I'm not sure about this. Okay. So any kind of face that you want to do. I will give you some links about um, different facial expressions, different shapes that eyes, nose, and mouth can be. Then um, you can, <laughs> we can make our hair to be like Roy G. Biv. We can make it any kind of um, order. It's just pretend it's all made up so we can make it however we want. Um, if you like, you can do black and white instead. You don't have to do it colorful. I kind of like the, this one more is focusing on texture. But I'm just going to show you a few tips about making hair with the paints. And um, let's see. First of all, We want to think about, um, like for my girl here, we're, I'm going to give her a part and then I am going to make all the hair go one way to her ear and then all the hair go the other way. And then when her hair comes down, sometimes we like to make hair like this, but usually people also have hair along the back of their head that's touching the back of their neck. So we want to fill all this in with hair behind the cheeks and behind the neck all has hair coming down like that, okay? And you might want to fill it in or you might want to leave some little spaces like that to make it look shiny, give it some texture, okay? Then maybe I want to try um, more of a spiky hairdo on this guy. So I'm just making little marks where the hair would be growing out of the forehead. Coming up, think about the direction of the hair. Okay, now maybe I want to do um, this one has like <clears throat> uh, a side part, and the hair is kind of coming over like this. Everybody has hair that goes to their ears. Usually, unless it's shaved off, which is kind of unusual these days, but some people do. Okay, and maybe then I want to do for my sideways person, how about the, I'll give the sideways person a sort of a, um, let's see, maybe like the, uh, the Hosmer, kind of a, mohawk type coming down to the back and then just a little bit of stubble here on the sides to the ears unless it's completely bald except for the mohawk that might be fun to try too but I already did the stubble so we'll stick with that I think I want it a little taller up here you can always add in you can also add a little bit of different colors this is kind of fun to try with a uh, when the watercolor is really wet, if you just touch it on the tip of there, it'll kind of leak into the rest of it. 
and gradually change color, sort of an ombre, like it's popular with a lot of um, hair dyeing right now. Um, it doesn't work as well once the paint is already dry, though. Okay? Then the last thing, if you want to take a pen or a colored pencil or something and outline your shoulders and then give the, some little arms on there. Okay, now I have to switch on this one because the, I don't think the black ink will show up on this dark blue. But then maybe I want to do some a collar and maybe like a pocket. This is like a dress shirt. This guy's getting, he's going to work with his red flaming Hosmer hair. <laughs> okay, um, then for maybe uh, this one, maybe I want to try, let's see if the white one will work on this. Oh yeah, that works. Just arms, I think that's good enough. Then maybe outline this one and just a little bit of arms and this one here like that. Okay. If I wanted to, I could draw some, like maybe they're at a theater, they're sitting in their movie seats like this. This poor guy is very tall. Um, maybe I could do another row back behind here. That's what I did on this one. I had so much room. I went ahead and did another row of seats. Um, there's so many possibilities, and I hope you have fun with your collage cartoon people.